Hello and welcome. You are watching the guide to my cleric leveling spec. Now, I'm actually hanging out here on Molo's Mystery Mountain, which everyone can feel free to check out if you want. Now, the reason being that Rifthead's soul calculator is all kinds of messed up, so I need to show the build in game. Now, you may recall that my pre Storm Legion spec was a warden build that allowed for soul le leveling as well as main healing in a group. Now, one of the casualties of the Storm Legion changes is that multi-soul builds are a lot harder to pull off now, and being a main healer and being able to successfully solo level with the same build is just not going to happen. So to solo level a cleric, you'll want to go with the offensive souls, and for my build, I've chosen Inquisitor. My two additional souls are Kabbalist, for the sole reason that you get a multi-target attack right off the bat, and Sentinel for its buffs and heals. Now, this build will give me good survivability, good single target damage, and some moderate multi target damage as well. The powers I'll be using right away are Bound Fate for multi target, my damage over time attack Vex, my primary attack Bolt of Judgment, and Healing Breath, which is my primary heal ability. And this is going to be a very basic build where all my points are going into Inquisitor, with one point every third level going to Sentinel. So my first five points are going to Castigation to speed up my Bolt of Judgment cast time, and this will give me a nice buff in Armor of Devotion and also the powerful Bolt of Depravity, which, due to its long cast time, is only going to be used to open fights for now. My extra level three point is going into Watchful Gaze to increase my spell power. At level 6 I'm going to go ahead and take Armor of Treachery for the defensive buff, and my second point goes to Watchful Gaze, which opens up another heal in Subtle Invocation. Level 7 through 10 go to Corporal Punishment to increase my damage, and this has opened up Sanction Heretic, a powerful burst and damage over time ability. So at this point I'm simply opening a fight with Bolt of Depravity, Sanction Heretic, Vex, and then repeating Bolt of Judgment. My second level 9 talent goes to Watchful Gaze. At level 10, I'm taking another point in Corporal Punishment. At level 11, I'm taking Shroud of Agony for some additional multi-target damage. And at level 12, I'm rounding off Corporal Punishment. Of course, my second level 12 goes to Watchful Gaze, which opens up yet another defensive buff. Now at level 13 and 14, I'm going to take Pursuit of Truth because I hate pushback. At levels 15 and 16, I'm taking Contempt to get a little more survivability, and this has opened Harsh Discipline, which is a channel over time and heal over time ability that can be used in a pinch. My second level 15 point went to Watchful Gaze, and levels 17 and 18 go to Clinging Spirit. Now, since I'm still opening fights with Bolt of Depravity, putting two points in Clinging Spirit effectively raises my damage by 5%. My second level 18 point goes to Healer's Blessing, another buff that adds to my survivability. Levels 19 and 20 are going into Agent of Affliction to increase damage, and this has opened up my most powerful multi-target ability, Soul Drain. Soul Drain hits three enemies and then bounces to any other nearby enemies doing massive damage, as long as all of the enemies are in close proximity with me when I cast it. My levels 21 and 22 points are going into Diligence, which is the best damage enhancement available right now, and my levels 23 through 25 points are going into Life and Death Concord, a rather worthless talent until I take Unified Theory at level 26. Now, Unified Theory changes my Bolt of Depravity to an instant cast every time I cast five life-based spells. Now, taking a look at the Sentinel Tree, I've gained a point at level 21 and another at level 24, and I'm putting them both into Benevolence because I hate pushback. Looking at my abilities, I've now opened Spiritual Deficiency, which increases damage on a target by 7%. In Sentinel, I've opened a life-based damage over time spell, Banish. So at this point, my rotation has changed, and I'm opening fights with Bolt of Judgment to get my first stack of life and death Concord. I follow that with Spiritual Deficiency, Sanction Heretic, Vex, and Banish. Now I have three stacks of Concord, so I just need to cast two more Bolts of Judgment, and then I get my instant cast, Bolt of Depravity. I'll be primarily using Bolt of Judgment after that, but we'll keep an eye on the Sanction Heretic timer on my target in longer fights. Once that runs out, it's time to cast another Sanction, Vex, and Banish. 
At level 27, I'm finishing Diligence and putting my second point into Expeditious. Levels 28 through 30 finish off Agent of Affliction, with my second level 30 point going to Expeditious. I've also opened yet another defensive buff, Spiritual Protection. I'll note at this point that I have the option to take Circle of Oblivion, which is a nice spell in dungeons for helping your party to clear mobs, but not so much for soloing where you'll be better off spamming Bound Fate in multi-target situations. So I'll be waiting on Circle of Oblivion for this build since it is a solo leveling build. Instead, I'll go ahead and take three points in Symbol of Corruption, and from this point forward I'll be looking to take the best damage enhancing abilities available until I finish the Inquisitor Tree. So to speed things up a bit, the five remaining points in Sentinel are all going into Divine Understanding, and this will open up my third heal, Healing Invocation. So my levels 34 and 35 Inquisitors points go to Planar Study, and at 36 I can take the buff Armor of Awakening. 37 through 39 go to Planar Study, and 40 goes to Cunning Analysis. Level 41 goes to Bolt of Retribution, and even though the Talent Tree shows that this is doing less damage than Bolt of Judgment, you'll find that hovering over the powers on your bar actually shows something completely different, so you'll want to replace Bolt of Judgment with Bolt of Retribution entirely. Essentially, it's an upgraded version of the same spell. At level 42, I finish Cunning Analysis, and my next three points will go into Righteous Indignation, and then three more into Concentration. I'm going to take two points in Mental Resilience, and my 51st point is going into Fanaticism, which forces the next Life or Death offensive spell to critically hit. Now the reason I take this with my 51st point is that it also opens Nisser's Rebuke, which deals massive damage over three seconds, and it's on a one minute cooldown. Now since Fanaticism is on a 45 second cooldown, I just make it easy on myself and cast it before every cast of Nisir's Rebuke. Now again, this strategy is for soloing, not for min-maxing DPS. Now I'm going to finish Mental Resilience and put two points into Approbation. My next three points go into Zealotry, and my remaining four points will finish Inquisitor in whatever order strikes my fancy. Probably Circle of Oblivion, followed by Perseverance, Determination, and finally Excommunicate. At level 54, I open Scourge, and my final damage over time ability, which I cast right after Vex. And at level 58, I'll open Spiritual Scrutiny, which makes Bolt of Judgment instant and suddenly viable again and that will get me to the end of the leveling process. And that's it for my Cleric Leveling Spec. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.